yes, the torque converter finally came. More stickers, destructions, cover. Uh, we got our belt. Uh, we have our sprockets slash hardware. Oh, rear part uh, with the 420 gear on here, which is what we need for this four-wheeler. Bag came with 35. And the front pulley. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, magical side cover. I command you to come off this instant. All right, so all I gotta do now is take this clutch over here, take this chain off, take this uh, mid sprocket off of the jack shaft, and take the whole rest of the rest of the jack shaft out, and we should all be open right here. All right, so I got all the screws loose out of this jack shaft, so now we gotta take this chain off, this old greasy chain. Yeah, it should come off of here. Pretty easy. Or not, because it's wanting to be a butthole. Uh. All right, that chain's out, and this jack shaft is finally out. All right, so boom, that's all the pieces right there. It just came out of the four-wheeler. I'm guessing this is, isn't going to fit in on the first try. I'm probably going to have to cut a little bit and move the engine over, but let's just see roughly how it's going to fit. Mm, pretty tight. Um, yeah. Obviously, I'm going to have to do a lot of stuff in order to make this thing fit, but that's kind of the whole thing with, you know, putting different things in. You got to customize it and modify it for it to work. But let me tell you something. I'm not going to sit there and pay $100 for a torque converter and it's not going to fit. This torque converter is going in there. We're going to get it in there somehow or another. It's, it can't go in the third hole right here, which is what I was hoping because you know it hits the back part of the cylinder. So I'm gonna have to put it in these middle holes here. So in order to do that, I'll have to raise the engine up. And to raise the engine up, you know, up here in the front, you know, I got a pretty good ways I can raise the engine up to. Uh, the back right here, uh, this exhaust is gonna maybe hit the frame. I'm hoping not anyway. Uh, this spark plug wire here and this little brace right here, I'm gonna try to get this brace off if I can. Uh, but that's also gonna have to get moved up some. And yes, y'all, I'd much rather, you know, actually raise the engine up. You know, I don't really want to, you know, cut part of the chassis out, you know, to drop it down. But if, if I have to, I will. I mean, I can always weld extra supports in and stuff like that. Now, as I said before, you know, we're gonna get this torque converter in here. You know, yes, we are gonna get it in here. You know, it will fit. We're, I just gotta sit here and think about how I'm gonna make it fit. You know, it's not as easy as, you know, slapping everything together and you're going for a ride, you know. That's the whole beauty with this kind of stuff, building go-karts and four-wheelers and stuff like that, is sitting here thinking about how am I gonna make it work? What do I have to do to make it work? You know, and it's a 90% chance this torque converter will work. So yes, it is one thing just to have everything as a kit, bolt everything together, everything's perfect. Yes, you know, that is fun. Like, I think one of my talents is, is sitting here thinking about how I'm gonna make stuff work. and. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna get this torque converter in here and it's gonna work. All right, so it's another day. So what I did was, in order to raise the engine up just temporarily, just to see if this whole mock-up is gonna work, I uh, just got like a one by four there. I kind of cut it in half and I put it in between the engine and this bottom plate, uh, just to kind of jack it up a little bit. Uh, between this and this is probably about an inch, which is you know exactly what the square tube is this camera is staying focused, exactly what the square tube one inch, you know, engine riser kit you can get. So I am probably gonna get the engine riser kit. The engine also is gonna have to move that way. Uh, because, and also with it raised up like this, the exhaust right there almost clears. You still got a little bit more room. Uh, this little bracket here, I might have to cut part of this little bracket off because yeah, it's just, it might, it might get in the way, but you know, when it's all over here, I know it's not even bolted down yet. Once it's bolted out, it'll be a different story. I don't even know if it's right in the ho holes or not. But, you know, everything else seems to kind of clear pretty good. You know, intake, all that still in the same spot. So, so far, it seems like it's going to plan pretty good. I mean, that, that seems like it's going to work really good. And not only that, you can also get like a top plate for these engines. 
It's basically just like the throttle plate on the racing go-kart, but it's the other half of it. So it's the whole full plate. Oh my gosh, it almost fits. Huh. Give me a note in the comments if you want to see that. Also conveniently, it just ruined this clutch right here. It got a huge crack in it. So yeah, that's also another reason why I'm putting a torque converter in here. All right, y'all, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap the clutch that was on the four-wheeler uh, for the clutch that's on the go-kart because this clutch engages at a lower RPM and this clutch engages at a higher RPM. Uh, I don't really like that in this, so I'm gonna switch these clutches real quick and yeah. Boom, done. All right, so boom, the engine riser kit just came. All right, so I just went to Lowe's and got some new bolts, some new longer bolts because the other ones weren't long enough. So let's go put it on the four-wheeler now. All right, so these bolts right here are like two and a half inch and these bolts right here are three and a half inch. And some new washers. All right, y'all, it took me a while in order to get those spacers in there because some whatever reason, this didn't want to line up right. And you know, long story short, I had to go out and buy more bolts. I already told you that. And, you know, I didn't really want to go in there. I had to keep hitting it, keep hitting it. It finally went on there. Same with the back. Uh, that took forever. And plus, the exhaust is kind of hitting up there on the frame. You can't really see it. Uh, I had to do a little bit of trimming over there. But, you know, yeah, it's on there now. And hopefully, it's going to line up with the chain. So, let's put it on. Check it out, guys. Bam! Got it on there. This looks really, really good. I hadn't hooked the chain up yet. I gotta go out and buy a new chain because this chain's too short. So once I get a new chain for this, and when I hook it up, we're gonna take this thing for a spin and I cannot wait to see how this is gonna be. All right, so y'all got our new chain and master links uh, for the four wheeler and I'm working on it out here now because working in this tiny little confined area is extremely excruciating and I'm just not going to deal with it. So. Yeah, I know, I should have rolled it out there a long time ago, but whatever. So, I'm gonna put the chain on, uh, line the sprockets and all that kind of stuff, and then we should fire it up and take it for a ride. All right, so chain is on, engine's tightened down. Uh, long story why the chain's loose, but you know, it's, it's on there, so I'm gonna ride this thing. So let's start this thing up now. Alright, so I just bought another exhaust on here for right now.
All right, guys, so what happened was the exhaust came off right there, and I was riding it along, and I floored it right there. It was getting on up there, and I was like, Bruh. I'm like, I thought the engine messed up at the second. But then I looked, the exhaust came down, and it was kind of sparking all right there and stuff, so I immediately cut it off. And, yeah, just a little bit, you know, just around that curve, my house was right there. So, yeah. So, yes, this thing is so much faster now. Like, I'll, I'll be getting on it, and the front end will start, start doing all like this. So, yeah, stage two and a torque converter, this, this thing is insane. Even with the stage one kit, the torque converter would have been way better. Like, I'll be at a dead stop and I'll kind of hit it a little bit. Anyway, it'll, it'll then take off. Now, y'all, here's the thing. This Predator, you know, the way I have it built, is making somewhere around 12 to 13 horsepower. And this torque converter, you know, it obviously converts to torque and this is a cheesy frame this is a cheesy chinese frame and it's not built very good so it's not built like other four wheelers so <laughs> i mean you, you you jump this thing like over that and the frame could crack in half that's why we had to weld a bunch of angle iron on the sides and all that kind of stuff and yeah it, it still needs a little bit of work you know i'll do a little bit more with that but so far i'm just I'm blown away. It's so much smoother than that jack shaft system. I mean, I'll be going along. I hit it full throttle. I mean, it'll say the RPM that was get faster and faster and faster. All right, so one more thing I want to do on this torque converter is I want to adjust the spring on this. You see these three holes right here? Uh, stock position, it comes with this hole. Uh, the first hole gives you more top speed. Uh, third hole gives you more acceleration. I'm going to put it in the third hole so that we get more acceleration and more RPM out of the engine. We can actually hear the cam in it. And, yeah. And we're going to do all that in a future video. So there you go guys, Comet 30 Series Go Power Sports Torque Converter and the four-wheeler definitely turned out good. Now the reason that the front end was all acting all fishy like as you would get up to, the like, maximum I got up to is like 35, which it definitely has way more in it. That was not opened up like fully. Like basically the front is just doing all like this. The tires, are, I mean I think the tires are out of balance uh, because I did put slime in one of them because one of them was leaking. So, if we get the tires balanced, it's definitely going to be going a lot faster. Number two, exhaust wise, I need to you know, actually re, kind of redo the exhaust a little bit because I just kind of have it hung on there. And I was, yeah, yeah I already told you all about that. So, yeah, the exhaust came off. Uh, I need to do a little bit more work on the chain. Chain's a little bit more loose. I need to bolt the sides back on. And, yeah. So, basically, before it had a stage one engine with a jack shaft. And that was it. And the engine blew. So I rebuilt it, put stage two kit on it. I have another video about that if you want to go watch that. Uh, and the drive line on this thing sucked before. Like with the jack shaft, it was it it wasn't like really for this four wheeler. Like I'm sure a clutch and the jack shaft would be perfectly fine on something else, like maybe a mini bike or something. But on a four wheeler like this, it's it, no. Like a clutch and a jack shaft's not not for this. Something like a torque converter, yes, way better. Way more acceleration, way more top speed. See, all the main reason why we put this jack shaft right here in at first was just to mainly get it running. And it did work fairly well, yes, I will admit, we did have fun with this jack shaft, but we're gonna have way more fun with this torque converter now. And also, I'm gonna save this jack shaft for another project I have in mind. I'm not gonna reveal it yet, so there'll be a video on that soon. So, hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a Wait, I'm not going to tell y'all to do things. Y'all can do what the heck y'all want to do. Uh, if you didn't like this video, click on thumbs down twice. I'm going to tell the haters to do things, but I'm not going to tell you who actually likes to watch my stuff to do anything. Or So, yeah, y'all should see me in the next one. Start her up.